Hello, what's up YouTube? We are back with another getting started video. Today we're going to talk a little bit about stats and specifically we're going to talk about the differences between increased and more. So sometimes you'll see on items or on the passive tree uh, that there are some things that read increased with a percentage versus more with a percentage. If you're just looking at the game itself, uh, you can see that in the passive tree or in the passive uh, uh, window. If you just type in increased damage, for instance, in your search bar, you're going to see, my goodness, the whole tree lights up. It's like it's Christmas and everybody's gathered together and you're drinking, you know, eggnog and everybody's singing Christmas carols. Look at this. It's just increased all over the tree. I mean, the tree is pretty much made up of a bunch of nodes that are increased damage. However, when you search for something that says more damage, you can look and you can see a couple of things blinking here in my gladiator ascendancy. You can see a couple of spots, one down here at point blank, one over here at arrow dancing, um, a couple other notables up at the top of the tree, one for pain attunement, 30% more spell damage when on low life. Elemental overload is over here, 40% more elemental damage if you've crit in the past six or eight seconds. So there's a couple of instances of this and there are numerous different uniques throughout the game that are going to give you more damage instead of increased damage. So today we're going to be learning and looking at what exactly that means, more versus increase. So in Path of Exile, each stat has an internal ID, for example, like maximum life, and a number of settings that are associated with it. Stats themselves do not have a value. Their values are given by other sources, such as modifiers or skills. The value is are always integers and round down to the nearest integer if the stat value is modified. The ID and the values are used for translating the stat into a more human readable format. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, by the way, Grinding Gear Games. So that way, you know, us humans can actually read this. As such, stats may often appear in descriptions differently than they are used in games. This means that they may omit information such as values or change their text and numbers to be more readable. For example, the stat maximum life will appear as increased maximum life for positive values and reduced maximum life for negative values on things that affect the player's character but will also appear as extra life and reduced life on monsters respectively. It's also possible that the description of a stat is omitted entirely and not visible to the player, however stats will still be effective. Very often this is the case for monster modifiers such as hidden item quantity or rarity boots. This is also uh, true actually for your armor. Did you know that chess pieces uh, actually come in, uh, I believe armor based chess pieces come in with a hidden modifier to actually slow you down. They actually slow down your movement speed. This is why a lot of racers you'll see they won't actually put on a chess piece for a long time. Alright, so there are sources of stats. You got modifiers, which can be found on items. You've got areas, you've got monsters, you've got passive skills from the passive tree. You've got buffs that can be granted by auras. You've got skills, and then of course you've got base stats from the character's uh, character class and simply leveling up your various stats, intelligence, strength, dexterity, etc. Okay, so stats are both local and global. We're gonna quickly look at this, but then we're gonna focus on flat additive and multiplicative stats. That's gonna be the focal point of our video. So really quickly, stats will stack with themselves additively. So two or more stats with the same ID will simply be added up. However, there is a distinction between global and local stats. Local stats will only be added to the relevant source. So this means if you have a global stat or a local stat on a weapon, it is only going to be added to your weapon. It's not going to be added to other weapons. It's not going to be added together with another weapon. Whereas global stats are applied globally as the name suggests. So for instance, when you are dual wielding and using a stat stick, this is why often people use stat sticks, you can use in your offhand a weapon that is not toggleable by your primary damage dealing ability, which mine right here is Blade Flurry. It requires a uh, dagger, claw, or one-handed sword. And so I've got a claw in one hand, but then I've got an axe in the other hand. So it's not technically using the local mods for my axe, but it is using the global mods. The global mods here being gain 22% of physical damage as extra fire damage and gain 35% of physical damage as extra cold damage. So those are global mods that are applying, whereas the local mods are just going to apply to the axe. And since I'm not using a skill that actually uses an axe, I don't get those local mods, but I do get the global mods. All right, so that's some practicum there. What do the stats actually look like in practicum? Stats with different IDs may also interact with each other. However, there is no dead set rule on how different stats interact with each other. Often the interaction can be derived from the description of the stats. 
This is by far the most fun theory crafting part of Path of Exile, and it's also simultaneously probably the most frustrating part of learning stats, because you may read one particular unique item that reads one way, and you go, wait a minute, that seems to break some rules that I thought about Path of Exile. And then you read another uh, unique item, and you look at it, and you go, wait, this seems to break the rules that that other unique seemed to enforce. So what's the deal? So sometimes there can be some inconsistency in the wording, uh, but for the most part, uh, this is, again, can be both a frustrating aspect of, of Path of Exile as well as an exciting part of Path of Exile because it means that there's a lot of different combinations that are available. Okay, so here's the rule of thumb for flat additive and multiplicative stats. The visible description generally hits hints at a few rules for the interaction. However, be wary, there may be edge cases where it behaves differently. So, a flat stat usually uses a form of the word add. They stack additively with other flat stats of the same scope. Resistances are flat stats, which use the word increased and are represented as percentages, and so are notable exceptions to the general rules. So, your uh, resistances, your elemental resistances, your chaos resistances, they're simply increased because they just add up together. So, if you have one item, that's got 20% fire resistance and another item that's got 40%, you now have 60% because they're global and they're flat. They stack on top of each other. Additive stats are usually percentages and use forms of the words increase and reduce. They are summed with other additive stats of the same scope, i.e. what we just described with the elemental resistances. Multiplicative stats are usually percentages and use forms of the word more or less. They stack multiplicatively with other multiplicative stats of the same scope. A multiplicative stat's internal ID can be identified by the suffix final. What this means in plain English is that you add the various increased and reduced effects together into a single multiplier and then you multiply the base stat by the result. Whereas you multiply the base stat by each more or less effect in turn. So what does this look like? Let's get down some to some real quick brass and tax. Here's the example. If you have 1000 base damage and you have 100% increased damage from gear and 100% increased damage from passives, you can then choose between slotting either of the two support gems. Okay. So let's say we're operating on a two link here. We've got our active skill gem and then we've got our options for a support link. We can use gem A that's going to give us 100% increased damage and gem B is going to give us 100% more damage. If we slot it with gem A, that means that the calculation for damage is going to be gear plus passive plus gem, which equals 300% increased. So 1000 damage, that's our base damage, times one plus 3.0, which equals four. So it's a thousand times four, four damage. That's the uh, additive method, the increased damage. If, however, you use the gem that says more damage, then you're going to get your gear plus your passive times your gem. So what does that look like? It's going to mean 200% increased because that's from our gear and our passive and 100% more. So the equation is 1000 base damage times two times one, which equals 6000 damage. Okay, so the shorthand for all of this, what does this mean? It means if you find something that says more damage, in general, it's going to give you way more damage than increased damage. Hopefully this explains a little bit about some of the differences between increased damage and more damage on your stats, as well as local modifiers versus global modifiers and whether or not they're useful and whether or not your weapons are even taking advantage of the stats that are on them or your gear because some people even make mistakes with, uh, with various aspects of unique gear that they're actually not even taking advantage of. So if you've got a question, a comment, if I've made a mistake in my calculations or a mistake in my reading of the video, feel free to leave us a comment down below. As always, like and subscribe the video as more and more getting started with Path of Exile videos are on the way.